Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a MIDI arpeggiator in Reaper. Now, the idea of an arpeggiator is it allows us to play multiple notes in rhythm by just holding down one note or one chord on our MIDI keyboard. This way, we can create patterns that go with the tempo of the song and are more musical or rhythmic. So I have a project in front of me here and I have a synth track right down here and it sounds like this. It's a pretty simple synth sound. Let's look at the plugins. I have my synth here. I have an EQ that's being used as a filter. And I also have a delay and a reverb but I have those off for now. I'll put them back on later as they really accentuate this feature. So let's go down over here and add a new plugin. Double click. We'll type in the filter MIDI. And over here is a plugin called MIDI Arpeggiator. Double click it. And this is what it looks like. Now it's very important that we put this plugin before our virtual instrument or our synth. Otherwise we're not gonna hear it because this plugin doesn't work with audio. It just works with MIDI. So it has to go before our synth. So let's just drag it over to here. Now if I play my keyboard by just holding down one note, I already hear multiple notes. So let's go through this. This adjustment over here deals with the rate. By default, it's going to play one quarter note which is what we're hearing, which is based on the tempo of our song. So if I play the track, those notes are in tempo with our song. But we could change it either by typing it here or by moving the fader. Let's go to two, and that's gonna be an eighth note. If we go to four, that'll be a 16th note. It can go even faster or slower or anything in between. Let's put it back to the default. Now the next adjustment here decides the length of our note. By default, it's gonna be the complete length of the space. So we don't hear a gap in the note. But if we want that, just bring it down. which is really helpful when we use faster notes. It makes it more staccato. Next is the mode. We're gonna skip this for now. We'll come back to that in a bit when we're working with multiple notes. Now, if you're noticing, it's a bit boring hearing one note, but we can change that using the variance right here. By default, it's off. Let's add one, and let's change this note to a variant of that note. So we can go up an octave, which is plus 12, and it'll sound like this. bring it down an octave, it'll sound like this. Or anything in between. We can go up a fifth, or a third. Or down. anything we want. Now we can have more than one variant. Let's bring this up to two, and we can change that here. But before we change it, 
Notice the difference, even if we leave it alone. It changed the pattern to three notes. The original note, variant one, and variant two, creating a triplet pattern. We can still change it to a different note. Let's bring it up an octave. Now we have the normal note, down an octave and up an octave. Or again, we could change it to a fifth. And create any note pattern that we want. Let's add a third variant right here. Go to three and adjust the variant right here. But once again, we could leave it to create a different pattern where the original note repeats twice. But again, we could change it to a completely different note. Let's bring our second variant up an octave, so it's down an octave, up an octave, and make the third variant up a fifth, which will sound like this. And we can play around with it to create any note pattern that we want. But here's a great time to bring in our delay and our reverb. It sounds a lot more interesting. I think you get the idea. Now, so far, we've only been holding down one note, but instead, we could choose our notes based on playing them as chords on the keyboard. So let's put this back to zero, reset these, and now we're back to the original pattern. And now let's play an octave on our keyboard. And that creates a pattern itself. Or if we play a chord. Let's make it a bit faster. Now the direction of the pattern we're hearing can be adjusted right here with the mode. So right now it's at the down. So if I play three notes, it starts on the highest and goes down. But we can flip it to go up. And there's two other alternates right here. A down alternate, or an up alternate. And if we play four notes, we get a four note pattern. Or five notes. Pretty much anything we could think of. And we could also add in the variants. So let's bring this up to one variant, bring this up to one octave, 
Now, if I play one note, it sounds like this, with just one octave. But if I hold down two keys, it plays the first key, then the variant, then the second key, and the variant of that. Or if I play three keys, it does the same thing. Based on octaves, like we chose here. We can go down an octave. We're up a fifth. Let's say another one. Right here, with this one up an octave. So the normal note, the upper fifth, and the upper octave. Let's say one more variant right here and bring it down an octave. It can get pretty crazy. And we can change the mode to change how that reacts. From down to up, It's pretty much endless. There's one other fader down here, and that's for velocity. Let's put this back to the default, just so you can hear it better. Now, so far we've been using the default, which is full up. So every time I hit the keyboard, it's as loud as possible. But if I want it to be softer, just bring it down. Or if you want it to be sensitive to how you play it, just bring it all the way down to zero. And if you hit your keyboard harder, it'll be louder. And if you play softer, it'll be softer. Or we can keep it full up so it's always consistent. Let's put this back to down. Let's mess around with some of these faders. get the idea. So that's creating a MIDI arpeggiator in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.